Hi, I'm Stephen Mitchell, a Dish Master Technician here in Denver, Colorado. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps associated with programming a hopper inside the Control 4 Smart Home Operating System. So let's go check it out. Before you begin programming, you'll want to record the R number of each receiver in your project. To get this number, you can push the Home button three times on the Dish Remote, or push the System Info button on the front of the receiver. The R number will be the second number down on the DISH diagnostic screen. To begin programming of Control 4, we're going to select the room that the hopper is going to go to. On the right hand side of the screen, we're going to go to search and we're going to search for hopper. We're going to select the hopper master driver MSP and add it to that room. This is going to load several different instances into your project. First one you're going to notice is Dish Media. This is the DVR content that will show up in Navigator for your customer. The instance directly below it is the actual hopper receiver itself. And the third one is the hopper app switcher, which we'll get into later for adding YouTube and Netflix. From here, we're going to switch to our Connections tab. We'll go to Network. We'll find our Dish Media instance here on the IP Network Connections. We'll then find our SDDP information on the right-hand panel, and we'll drag it to our hopper. That will make our SDDP connection inside Composer. Next step will be to go to our Control AV. We'll select the HDMI out on the hopper and drag it to our connection on either the TV or AV receiver. From here, we'll return to System Design. We will select that Dish Media again. In the middle pane, you'll see this Receiver CAID uh, field. Here, we're going to enter that R number of the receiver that we wrote down earlier. And then we'll click Set. We should see in the status box as Receiver CAID appears valid. That means it sees it on the network. Next step, we'll be go to the Actions tab. We'll click Pairing Start. This will generate a pairing pin on the screen of the TV attached to the hopper. You'll need to enter that here in the pairing pin field. Once it's entered, we'll click set. You should see the status box change to pairing successful, and you should see pairing successful on the screen of the hopper as well. After completing these steps, your hopper will be paired to the Control 4 system and be fully controllable. Thank you for watching. If you need any further assistance, please reach out to the DISH Concierge team.